Okay, Max, uh, we are here in the vehicle again and we're on the next subject of your syllabus of learning to drive. Drive. We're gonna start with the moving off. So we're gonna move the car shortly. Okay. And then how to stop the vehicle, which we call stopping. Okay. This is the first thing you'll ever do on a driving lesson. Once you've done the controls, which we have done, we're moving on to the next subject, which is the moving off and stopping. Okay. Now I need to teach you how to start this vehicle. So again, we've got a keyless start. So you need to depress, and that doesn't mean make fun of the pedal or try to upset it in any way. <laughs> okay. So hold your right foot to the brake pedal, which is the big fat pedal in the middle. Right. Squeeze it and hold that pressure on. Okay. So holding the brake on, press the start button. That starts the engine as most automatic cars will start. So you either hold the brake and turn the key or hold mm -hmm. the brake and press the start button. Okay. Without the brake, the car will not start. So that's quite important to know. Okay, okay? why is that? Why, I guess it's a safety feature. I guess, yeah, Okay, yeah. so that we don't just- Have a runaway and car. And go, yeah. Okay. So you start the engine, you've got the brake on. So it's pretty much get you set and ready to, to maneuver whatever it is you're doing. Yes, okay. without it moving instantly. Okay, that's actually very intelligent. Yeah, it would be dangerous. Well. There's quite a lot of safety features on this vehicle. Maybe they will come up further down the line, but for the yeah. syllabus, we don't need to mention them at the moment. Okay, cool. So what we're gonna do now is we're actually gonna move the car from park, which we're currently in. And I did tell you that I would show you how to put the car into park, even though we're in park currently. Mm -hmm. The car won't change its features, it will stay in park, but I'm gonna show you how to do it. Okay. So keeping your foot on the brake, I'm gonna press this button on the left stick, which just gives us one wipe on the windows, mm -hmm. but there's a similar button on the right stick. Can you press that in for me? Good. Right. That would put you into park, which will be displayed on the dashboard, oh, okay. highlighted P for park. Now, because we're already in park, that doesn't change but you've experienced pressing the button. Yes. So when we do need it later, you've at least tried it now. So, so it's see not when new. we're in park, am I able to release the pedal? <clears throat> Excuse me, correct, yes. Please release the pedal. Oh, okay. So seeing P on the dashboard. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Seeing P on the dashboard will alert you to you being safe. Right. And then you'll know it's okay for you to take your foot off the brake and the vehicle will stay stationary and nothing dangerous will happen. Okay. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna ignore my fancy dash cam, which is <laughs> telling us all sorts of things. And we're gonna put the car into drive. So I'd like you to hold your foot on the brake again. So you're I'm gonna- to take them under wipe as well. Uh, they're on the automatic setting. So oh, if yeah, you wanna turn them off, like you can right. just by pushing it down, we'll turn okay. them off. I'll leave them on the slow automatic okay, setting. Okay. Uh, right, what I'd like you to do now is depress the brake again. So tell it some bad jokes. There you go. Mm -hmm. Now press the right lever down into drive. And you'll see it's changed from, changed from P to D for drive. Oh, okay. Yeah? Okay, yeah, yeah. So now you know by looking at the dashboard that you're in drive. Now, if, don't do this, keep your foot pressed on the brake, okay? And maybe I'll just cover the brake for extra security. <laughs> but if you release the brake, Mm -hmm. What do you think would happen to the motion of the vehicle? I reckon two options. One, it will conk out because it's not built up revs to start moving the car. Two, some cars, as far as I know, will start leading forward to get you into your rhythm. Mm -hmm. if, 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 mm -hmm. I think I've said it right, but mm -hmm. like... Um, yes. So it will start to slowly move, the second option that you said, okay. and it will start to gain that rhythm and momentum. Okay, cool. Yeah, so the car will start to slowly move, gently gain uh, like speed, momentum. momentum. Okay. And then it will maintain that, unless you decide to increase the speed by accelerating or decrease the speed by braking. Okay. The car will not conk out, which is called stalling. So if any engine conks out, that means it stops, it doesn't work anymore. You would right. call that a stall. Okay. For any vehicle. I've seen that Plane, my friends do train, that. <laughs> yeah. 
and they drive a manual car. <laughs> they do indeed. Which can be a little bit dangerous. If you're following a manual car and it cuts out, be prepared to stop suddenly because, you know, yeah. okay, automatic cars do not do this, so it's safer. Right, so we're going to do that part. We're going to actually move the car now. So we're just going to move forward just a few meters just so you can experience it. So what I'd like to do is just place your hands onto the steering wheel any position whatever's comfortable for you so 10 and 2 isn't something that's done anymore 9 and 3 is the preferred position for steering right um it just gives you more leverage just yeah. to turning okay so want you when you're ready just to humor me now this is what i would do for the beginners is i would actually look right. i always look anyways because it's part of our job we mm -hmm. have to as a driving instructor to make sure it's safe so now I want you to just have a quick look over your left and a quick look over your right. And we're just looking to see if there's anybody around us, any immediate dangers. So by your observations, what do you think? I think we're good to go. Lovely. Oh, okay. wait, there's a car coming. Okay, brilliant. We'll hold off then. So will I be just going forward? Staying yes. Staying kind of the same like line? Yes, or... please. All right, cool. Mm -hmm. uh, you see this tree we have here on the left? Yeah. Maybe we'll just stop when we get close to the tree. Okay. Sure. Whenever you're ready and you feel it's safe, I'd like you to just gently move us forwards. And then gently press the brake and come to a stop. Yeah, pretty simple. Very simple. Any questions? Let's do it again. All right, <laughs> good. So that's what we're going to do now. So we're going to move into that. Now we're going to do it slightly different because we're going to okay. steer out around the white car in front and we're actually just going to follow the road down. Smashing. Okay. So again, before you move off, we'll do a little bit on the observations, uh, right. which is a six point check from the least dangerous being pedestrians to the most dangerous being the side. right hand side. So really on your driving test, examiners just want to see you look over your left shoulder and right shoulder. These are the blind spots. Okay. And if we've done that, we'll cover the whole field of view, know it's safe, and then we can signal, which I saw you were about to do, which is always a good habit. And then you can hold off if you feel that the situation's changed. We call this acting on information. So you see that there's vehicles, you might hold off. Lovely double check there on the right hand side. Well done. Very smooth, nice gentle acceleration. Lovely steering. So you're holding about a meter from the parked cars on the left. All right, so would I move further in then? Uh, slightly. Uh, less space, less speed. So we've got the oncoming vehicle. Well done for braking. Very nice, good, maintaining the door length there, plus you're giving enough room for the cyclists on the right. Yeah, Very there's smooth. New rules, there's new rules for the cyclists now, isn't there? Yes, pull up on the left, please, just by these cones. Don't worry about being super perfect with your position from the left, just so that we are on the left side and there's enough room for people using the road to continue to drive. Lovely. Now. Holding the brake on, well done. Nice smooth progressive braking to come to a gentle stop. Put your right hand to the gear lever, we'll call it the gear lever, mm -hmm. and press that button to put us into park. Smashing. And there you go. And I can release the brake. You can yeah. release the brakes and you're in park. Yeah. You know the car's secure and it's safe and you can relax. Any questions? Um, no, that was actually like really fun. Good. So. You've completed moving off and stopping. Okay. What we're going to do next, and um, for everybody, this will be the next part of the course, we'll be doing left turns. So this is what we call junction and turning left. Okay, cool. All right. So we'll catch everybody at the next section of the syllabus. See you guys soon. See you there.